some chicken skewers. Um, I just got home from work and I want to make a quick, easy dinner. Note that quick, easy dinner. So uh, I'm going to go a little Asian leaf flair with my chicken thighs. I pulled them out this morning. So when I got home from work, they'd be ready to go. And it's going to be a quick marinade. And a lot of people don't usually think cilantro and lime when they think Asian but it's right up there. So we're gonna marinate cilantro, lime, chicken thighs, and then we're gonna make a Asian peanut dipping sauce to kind of drizzle on top. I'm gonna grill them. We have some rice cooking, and I'm gonna make a quick cucumber salad for this like light, delicious, nutritious dinner that everyone, even the kids are gonna like. Now, if you don't like uh, thighs, that's, that, that's things for you because they're better than the breasts. I wouldn't do this with breasts. I feel like it's gonna be a little too dry. I would use thighs, but if you wanna use breasts, you go ahead. When I say we're gonna do this quick and easy, we're doing this quick and easy because I got somewhere to be tonight at 7.30 for a meeting with a client and I still gotta feed everybody. So it's like juggling everything in the air and we gotta get all our shit ready for school tomorrow. Anyways, I can't even have wine yet, it's still too early. Um, oh, whoop, all my chicken thighs are in here. I just clean them by trimming up the fat. I buy the boneless, skinless ones that are at, um, those are from Costco, I got the big pack and then I divide them up in the freezer. Uh, around eight cloves of raw garlic. A huge bunch washed cilantro. I'm putting the whole thing in here. My limes, remember to roll your citrus, get all the flavors out. And we're gonna juice, I'm going with three limes juiced into uh, my marinade. And we're gonna use quarter cup of soy sauce. Blend this sucker up. Okay. So we blended it up. It's gonna be really green because we use fresh cilantro. It should be green, we're using fresh herbs. Um, it's gonna be a little like, not thick like a paste, but that's okay. Oh, it smells good. Um, if you want a little bit more garlicky, you can put a little bit more garlic in it. That's fine. We're gonna give this a good massage. And you can kind of see how we're gonna coat all of our chicken real well. The only thing missing right now, if I do this, good salt got our grill on at 400 we're grilling this on both sides probably around six minutes on each side because they're like just boneless skinless uh, chicken thighs if you did the bone in or skin on you're looking around 15 minutes extra just because of the bone so you want to make sure chicken's fully cooked all the way through beautiful okay, so now we're just taking our skewers we're taking the chicken thighs and I'm going in, I'm like sewing them in and out and then in again so that they end up going on my skewer and we're going to push them all the way down. So once again, in and down and then in again, um, spacing them out like this nicely. So like I said, there'll be four minutes on each side. Just continue the process. If you use wooden skewers, soak them beforehand, because if not, when you put them on the grill, they're gonna burn. So probably half an hour beforehand, if you don't have the metal ones, you're gonna use the wooden ones. Make sure that you skewer them, um, you soak them first, because if not, they're gonna burn. There goes your dinner. So I got three skewers with around three, almost four chicken thighs on each one. And we have the grill nice and hot, so we're gonna go put those on out there. Then we'll come in and make our peanut dipping sauce that we're gonna drizzle on on top of our rice. Funny out here, but um, taking our chicken, hot, hot grill, laying it down. Whew. One, two, and number three. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, we're gonna make shift this sauce by using other sauces to combine to make one great sauce. Now, I'm not gonna put any fresh herbs in this because our chicken is primarily all cilantro and lime with that garlic, so it has this herbaceous flavor. We want to, I wanted to make like a peanut sauce. So I have this, the Thai peanut Thai sauce like this. It's very potent, like very potent. And when I go to use it, you only use a drop. So what I've learned to do is this is gonna be around two and a half, maybe three tablespoons. I'm gonna cut it with some ponzu. And the big thing is I'm gonna cut it with some white wine vinegar. And this brings that acid and bright note. So it's around two tablespoons of each. Splash of soy. 
I'm gonna cut some fresh scallions, no other herbs going in here. And now it's all by taste. So I don't like it peanut buttery where it's like sticking to your roof of your mouth. I like to be able to, ooh, have a little tartness to it. This still tastes bitter peanut butter. So my nose. Can't win today, man. Anyways, I tweaked it a little bit by adding a little bit more ponzu because it was still very peanut buttery. Um, you can make your own peanut butter sauce with real peanut butter and soy and cut it down. Sometimes I use a little red chili flake in it as well. But like I said, we're in a rush tonight. Perfect, perfect. And drizzle that right over once we put the chicken on the rice and our cucumber salad. Get that nice balance of nuttiness, the fresh herbs from the chicken. I just brought in the chicken skewers that we made. And while they're still really hot, I'm gonna squeeze fresh lime juice right on top. Remember, we used so much cilantro and lime in the beginning that it just, the smell, this is insane. And you know what I'm thinking? I'm gonna try this with steak as well. Um, I'm just gonna season it with some sea salt. And these puppies are ready to be served over rice. We have a cucumber salad. I'm starving. Dinner took less than 30 minutes. Rachel Ray dinners.